So in today's video guys, we're going to be giving you everything you need to know about keeping garter snakes. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hey and welcome back to the channel, I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics and if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing if you guys want to learn more about reptiles and amphibians. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background information about the garter snake. Their scientific name starts with Thanophis and in that family of snakes there are quite a few species. Right here I have a Thanophis sertalis, the common garter snake. There is also another one called the ribbon snake, the Thanophis sortis. Funny enough, the ribbon snake and the garter snake can actually produce hybrid offspring, which is highly unusual with those being separate species. These snakes can be pretty much found anywhere across the US near bodies of water uh, because they normally feed on toads and fish and worms and other things like that. In some parts of the country, these snakes are extremely rare. Uh, for example, the San Francisco garter snake, which those guys are almost extinct and they are highly sought after snakes to try to repopulate and actually get these guys in captive breeding. So hopefully in the future I can actually get my hands on a pair of those and that'll be another breeding project for in the future. So what should you do about housing for your pet garter snake? Well for one, garter snakes tend to do a whole lot better when you keep them in groups. So if you guys are planning on actually keeping some of these, make sure you're ready to get two or three of these guys. Baby garter snakes can be kept in as small as a 10 gallon enclosure but as they grow up, they're going to need to be moved into a 20 gallon long or tall. Preferably the tall since these guys do actually like to climb a good bit. But the 20 gallon is only going to work for if you have a single garter snake. But if you're going to be keeping a pair or maybe three of them, I would recommend getting at least a 29 gallon or a 40 gallon aquarium for these guys. If you guys would like a little sneak peek of a future video, I'm going to be getting an albino garter snake sometime soon. so. That's another video you guys can look out for. Me personally, I have my garter snakes in a 29 gallon terrarium, which you guys can see here in the video. And I'll explain some of the other things I have going on inside of them in just a second. The next most important thing about housing these guys is going to be that you're going to need a locking lid because these guys are definitely escape artists. And as you can see in the video here, I got the locking screen top lid so that way these guys can breathe inside of there. And I got the aquarium clips to actually lock down the top to the aquarium. So if you guys would like to see the first aquarium build that I did on the 29 gallon terrarium for the garter snakes, I'll put a link over there on that side of the screen for you guys so you guys can go check it out and come back to this video. Also if you guys would like to subscribe to my Patreon to help fund my projects, I'll put a link here and I'll also put a link in the description for you guys can go check that out. And for all the Patreon supporters, I'm going to be doing a little bit extra since you guys are actually going to be paying for the content and all. I'm going to go ahead and probably do bloopers and maybe a couple other things, some behind the scenes stuff that you're not going to be able to see on this channel here. For substrate and decor, what I normally like to use is the Zoomed Forest Floor Bedding for my actual garter snakes here. The reason why is because it holds the humidity really well on top of having the water bowl inside of the actual terrarium and missing it once or twice a week. For hides, I have a couple different things. I have a little temple on the bottom left side of the terrarium and I have a cork log in there and they often like to hide under the water bowl themselves. Uh, so that's another hide. My favorite thing that I actually have for these guys is the little ladders that I bought. These were originally for birds, but I bought them off Amazon and I think I only paid like $12.99 for them. And I just got some suction cups from Petco and I just stuck them to the sides and they also use this as basking platforms. But the main portion of this is make sure that you have multiple different hides for these animals because they love to go up and down and hide in various locations because it all goes back to thermal regulation. As far as heating and lighting goes, reptiles are pretty much all cold blooded, which means that they have to actually move from location to location to actually heat up and cool down their bodies so that way they can actually thermoregulate. This action of thermoregulation also aids in metabolism and other different bodily functions that the snakes need to survive. So in every enclosure you need to make sure that you can make a thermal gradient from a warmer side going down to a cooler side. And with these guys, a good temperature ranges to be from 85 to about 88 degrees for the warmer side. And that's going to be including a basking spot, which most animals are going to need a basking spot so that way they can simulate what they naturally do in the wild. And on the coolest side of the terrarium, it can probably be in the mid 70s. And that's going to be perfectly fine for these guys because they persist in numerous ranges of habitats. 
So these guys are pretty hardy animals. As far as humidity goes, I told you guys these are pretty hardy animals. So their humidity requirements are not that big of a deal. Uh, normally what I do is once or twice a week I may go in there and mist the enclosure down for maybe 10-15 seconds and let it dry out naturally with the light and let them soak that in there. Uh, they also have a water bowl that they can soak if they need to shed and things like that. So that's another natural source of humidity for them. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, garter snakes are gonna need a water dish for their actual enclosure. And the water needs to be kept relatively fresh. And you should most definitely make sure that it never runs dry on these guys. But as with all snakes, you need to make sure that you get a water dish large enough for them to actually submerge their entire body in it in case they want to actually soak or bathe in it or whatever they need to do in it. Garter snakes specifically they like to poop in their water bowls. Don't know why. So I use a Exoterra large watering dish. You can pretty much find this on the internet for about $16 on Amazon and I believe in Petco it's probably around 20, 24 bucks. So I would highly recommend buying it on Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, two day shipping. So the reason why I'm stressing the fact that you need to get these guys on a mice diet is the fact that mice hold more nutrients than you're going to find in your other prey items like fish and toads and worms and other things like that. Normally if you feed those guys something like that you have to supplement it with a calcium vitamin or vitamin D or something like something along those lines pretty much. So that way you can make sure they get all the nutrients that they need. So if you're going to feed your garter snakes worms or your young garter snakes worms I would highly recommend to stay away from the red wigglers. Those are going to be the most common worms that you can find in bait and tackle shops, but those worms are highly toxic to garter snakes. So if you can find night crawlers, I would definitely recommend getting night crawlers. So you need to make sure that you cut the worms up into appropriate sized pieces, so that way those snakes can ingest those pieces and digest them correctly. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and hit that like button while you're down there and tell me why you like the video. And don't forget, subscribe to the Patreon if you guys are wanting to help fund my projects and with everything else we have going on with Hostways Exotics. And have a good day.